Okay, thanks for jumping in. Let's get started. So it's time to get set up. So what you'll need first off and foremost is some kind of text editor. So if you follow the tutorials on the channel, you'll see some stuff around Visual Studio's code. I'd recommend you check that out. Uh, show you how to get it set up, installed extensions and a bunch of things. You don't have to use that code editor. You could use something like Sublime. You could use Atom. You could use, um, you know, PHP Storm, something else, Notepad++, whatever you use, just make sure that it is an actual coding editor and not a word processor. So to show you how this works, we're gonna take a look at the extensions here. And one of the extensions in particular you wanna pay attention to is this one, I think it's called Go Live. And let's look it up, yeah, so Live Server. So this is the one that I talked about and you can kind of set that up and we'll jump back to the Explorer real quick. If you were to like, you know, turn this on and you hit Go Live down here in the bottom right, it'll run the Live Server. So you'll need a browser as well, so we'll open up a browser. So once your browser is open up, you can just you know throw in some HTML just to make sure things are working. And then we'll go to the port. So the port down here is 5500. So that'll be on your local host or your local machine. That'll be local host 5500. And as you can see right here, this works. And it will refresh based on the content that we change in our HTML. And as you can see, it changes. So that's one approach. Now there's other applications that you guys can check out that kind of does the same thing. So you can go here, if you're familiar with the MAMP, you can install your local web server here and uh, you can follow the instructions here. Um, this approach is common. A lot of people use it for different things. Um, there's also, I think it's counterpart, uh, apachefriends.org and examp. So uh, I think the difference here is this one uses MirrorDB. So here at apachefriends.org, you can find this one. If that's something, a uh, flavor you want to try if you're on Windows or Linux or something else like that. And lastly, you'll need like some type of browser. So I'm using Edge, but you can use whatever you like. For instance, we can go here and we can see some of the most popular browsers in the world um, just by market share. So Chrome is number one, Edge, Safari, you know, Firefox and so forth. Uh, just make sure you have a modern web browser. So whether it's Chrome, Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, you name it, I'd stay away from this one. You know, you need something to kind of view the content that you create in the document uh, in. All right, so let's just close this stuff up. I'm using a different editor altogether over here, but you'll notice something over here, and uh, this is nodes modules and some stuff I have set up. You don't actually need any of this stuff to get this stuff working, guys. And one of the final approaches that you can use if you're continuing to follow everything on this channel is we use Valet. So you don't need that approach and you don't need anything in here in this kind of structure. But the reason I use this right now is because we're gonna use that for a bunch of other things moving forward on this channel and it's just really quick to set that up and get everything running. You can use the other alternatives that I've shown you. You can take a look at, you know, WAMP, MAMP, XAMPP, you know, live server, whatever it is, set up your dev environment for whatever thing you're gonna do. But um, it's all available on this channel. You can check it out and you'll get an approach that is comfortable for you. From time to time, I'm gonna be using some styling and I'm just, I'm just gonna be using some Tailwind styling until we get to CSS. And I can explain that to you guys much better, but, uh, for now, like it requires some of these components and stuff like that. And that's why this is set up the way it is. We'll talk about directory structure in a moment, but for now, just note that this is not the way you have to set it up. Um, your default, you know, project structure and directory does not have to look like this, but um, for what I'm gonna teach you, this is a little bit convenient. I'd recommend checking out the other ways that I showed you. Uh, the other thing that you could do is code pen. You can go here and you can, you know, just, it's already set up for you. You can just start typing, do your thing and you're ready to go as well. So um, there's a lot of options and you can pick whatever one you're comfortable with. The other thing that is interesting about our setup, you know, with Valet and uh, different things that we have going on is that if we have this live server running here and we hit go, right? And then we go to localhost and we go to the port 5500. We can also use our TLD that we have for Valet. So um, the name of the project for this series is HTML5 and I'm using the, the code TLD, it does the same thing. So realistically, we could just do the Visual Studios version. We can jump over here and we can do the Valet version if you like that. You can jump to a sandbox on the web in your browser, or you can use one of the other services that we said. So the key takeaway here is that if you wanna mimic a web server, you have those options. You can follow along with this structure if you prefer. Um, you don't have to do this one to work. I'm using something else and those other options that I gave you will more than work and get you set up. And don't forget to get a text editor or something that you're comfortable with. It'll help with the IntelliSense, the completing of the tags. And we'll talk about what those are and how they're structured and how you're gonna use them. All right, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one. And that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you found this useful. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Take care, and I will see you next time.